Hello Vapors, this is Priest SLC here with a, another tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about Wix. Um, I was watching Rip Tripper's channel and they came up with a, uh, he did a demonstration on how to basically roll up a Wix called the Scottish Roll. Um, it basically uses a piece of Japanese cotton, a Japanese cotton pad. Uh, you tear off the top veneer of cotton sheet and then stretch it out and roll it up. I was looking at that and I was like, you know what, I've got some of those pads, but not a lot. Um, I could go online, order a 200 count for six bucks or something like that. Or I could use something a little bit more plentiful and see if I could get the same kind of um, end result out of it and that's better wicking, better juice retention, so that's exactly what I did, and this is basically what I got. This is a wick that I have created out of a cotton ball. It is very, very spongy, very open, and it holds a ton of juice. I've been running one of these in my Velocity on my Snow Wolf 200, and I get absolutely amazing vapor out of this. So I'm going to show you how I made this guy, and it's actually really simple. So we're just going to go ahead and set that guy right there, and voila! piece of cotton ball. Basically what I've done is I've taken the cotton ball, I unrolled it, snipped off the ends, and this is basically what I was left with. Now this is a cotton ball I think that I boiled at one point about oh, a year and a half, two years ago, and I've still been going through the original bag that I used because I've been trying so many different things. Um, I've used everything from the boiled organic cotton, cotton bacon, um, I think I have like 800 feet of rayon. And so far, this little guy is wicking better than just about all of it. And I think one of the secrets to it is the fact that it's such a loosely packed um, cotton. It's got so much space inside and therefore it allows it to wick up through the fibers. And also what you're doing is you're aligning the fibers in the wick when you do this process. So I'll show you how to make this really quick. Just basically take your cotton, as you can see, it is fairly kind of torn up, that's okay, because basically what we are going to do is we are going to reproduce this same very open pattern throughout the entire piece. And what we want to do is expand it. So you can put it down on the surface, you can hold it in your hands and kind of pick it apart, but what we're looking to do is to stretch out these fibers and also what this will be doing is this will be more or less aligning the fibers within this strand of cotton until they're all pretty much going the same direction. And then we're going to trim it and then we're going to roll it up. And this is just the absolute simplest process to do and it doesn't have to be perfect I've done about two or three of these already and every single one of them has been absolutely wonderful and just to see if you know it was kind of a fluke and I was just you know in my head I decided to go ahead and wick up with some cotton bacon again see if I could get the same kind of results and sure enough I didn't um, this actually works better than cotton bacon. And I'm pretty sure if I took a piece of cotton bacon, stretched it out like this, and then rolled it up in the same fashion, I'd probably get some similar results. So basically this is what you're looking to do. You're looking to expand this out to where you're stretching it out. It's extremely thin. You're just looking for a small thin layer. Then what we're going to do once we're satisfied that we have all of these fibers stretched out enough is I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this in half. Very thin, cuts not exactly easily is going into a more solid piece of cotton, but here we go. I've got one for later and one to roll. So basically what you do is you take it, you put it down, and you roll it. You don't want to roll it up nice and tight. You want to make it nice and loose and fluffy. That's basically what's going to create all of the 
areas for the juice to wick up into and also we've aligned the cotton fibers so that they're going in one direction more or less the main flow of it is one uniform direction and then you can just kind of roll it to tidy it up and whatnot then from that point you just basically twist up an end put it into your coil and you're good to go that's basically all there is to it now before rolling it up like this you might want to trim some of the excess um, shorten the overall width of it down a bit um, I use three millimeter coils so this is perfect for that just rolling out one cotton ball stretching it out then rolling it up lengthwise um, if you use smaller like a 2.5 to 1.5 you might want to trim a section out trial and error to find out what works for you but give this a try you'll probably swear by it um, I know I do at this point so anyway until next time that's been it